Another very useful tool is located on the upper right palette here. Now, maybe you don't have it right there, but the way I arrange my windows, I have it up there. It's in the Advanced Tool Palette. Again, you find this palette under Window, uh, and it's right here. As everything else, as I explained many times, you're going to find it under Window, either as a palette or in the Toolbars section. So, uh, you can read about these great features uh, in the manual, uh, but the single most important feature of this, uh, this, uh, this uh, palette here is the first button that's called Note Mover Tool. Uh, what that does is, uh, uh, it, it, it's a very handy tool to quickly delete certain notes or note heads uh, or move them up or down in a different staff, uh, uh, what we call cross-staffing. I'm going to get into that in a little bit, but let's see how this works. So you press the Note Mover tool, then you press somewhere in the measure. You don't press an individual note, although it could work too, but this is a by measure uh, tool. It selects, it creates all these handles for all these note heads, and then you can select the note heads that you want, even just one, and press the delete button and it's gone. Uh, or you can select, like, let's say, all these, these four notes, and you select the delete button, and then you see the equivalent of uh, this, the notes in uh, rests appear in the score. That's very handy, very neat, very fast. But uh, the other thing that it does is also to create the, what we call cross-staffing. For example, in a piano arrangement like this, for example, uh, many times you might have seen that some note heads cross the staff and appear on the, on the lower staff as if they're going to be played by the left hand of the pianist. So the way you do this is, again, you click within the measure, you select, let's say, the note heads that are supposed to be in the, in the left hand, and then you drag them down and you keep holding the mouse uh, button pressed until you are somewhere within the lower measure and then you leave them and they're going to be placed in the right place you don't have to worry about trying to figure out okay where that A is exactly and leave it up there it doesn't really matter uh, if you don't drag it enough it's not going to move you have to drag it and just leave it, release the button, the mouse button, somewhere within the measure, and then it's going to go and it's going to appear in the right place. So just keep that in mind. Also, the other thing that you have to keep in mind is that uh, even though now these note heads appear in the lower staff, they are still a part of the upper staff, which means if you're trying to edit this music uh, with some tool and uh, you, you come here, you're not going to see them here. This is the speedy tool, for example, and you don't see these note heads here. You see them here because it's a part of that. It's, this is just, <laughs> so to speak, an optical illusion. They appear down here, but they're still up there. Okay, and the same thing if you want to select them and move them back, you know, no matter how much you click on the lower staff, there's nothing going to happen. Or nothing's going to happen. Only the lower notes are going to appear, but you cannot select the upper notes. You have to click on the measure which they originally appeared and then you again you you select them and you drag them up okay this is it with it this tool and the last thing i'm going to cover is uh the layout uh toolbar uh again under window and i think this is a toolbar yes it's a toolbar it's a layout toolbar and it's this it has many features as grids things like that that appear in the score uh, but the, the most important feature of that is the Show Margins on the very left, the first button, Show Margins button. Now, once you press this, you see in the score, and it's usually uh, good to do it on a page view, of course, because you can see the margins, which indicates what's going to be shown. Everything that is within the top and the, and the lower line or horizontal line here, it's going to print actually on a piece of paper when you're printing the music, uh, and the copyright just is very close. It's going to print too, but the safest way to 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 do to print your music is to know that everything is above this line. For example, if you go to the second page here, uh, and especially if you have notes, if you have notes now really far lower than than this line, they're not going to print, and this you know just just need to know that. Uh, 
you don't want any mistakes happening on that side. So this node, for example, the last node head, these two last node heads are not going to print. So you don't want mistakes like that to happen. Also, if, you, if you're trying to, for example, uh, write a note uh, on, uh, for a particular measure, let's say you put an asterisk here trying to explain something that's happening in that measure, and then you put a note with a text tool down here, uh, it's, gonna show, it's, n it's not going to show up. That's just how it is. If you if you don't want it to show up and it's just for you, you can leave it there. If uh, if you want it to show up, you just have to kind of push it up a little bit and bring it above that line. So that's it. Uh, that's another tutorial for Finale 2008. I hope you enjoyed this and you learned something. Thank you.